This, in my opinion, is the best jacket a deer tracker in the Northeast could buy. Hands down, bar none. I think most deer hunters can relate. They have a piece of gear that's like epic to them. Maybe they're superstitious. Some of their gear might be lucky. This is probably my most valued piece of hunting gear beyond my rifle. And it's something I overlook. It's something I take for granted a lot of the time. So my favorite wool jacket, it's a Johnson cruiser jacket um, made from Johnson Wool and Mills uh, out of Vermont. I love wool. Wool is my primary garment of choice hunting in the Northeast, particularly in Northern Maine. Um, I did a whole video on wool. I'll put a link right here. And on this channel, I haven't mentioned Johnson wool products that often. I really need to, because I need to give credit where credit is due. This jacket is 28 years old. I've used this consecutively for 28 seasons and I've used it hard and it's still going strong. And I'll touch on that more later. This, in my opinion, is the best jacket a deer tracker in the Northeast could buy. Hands down, bar none. So just a few of the quick specs. I was 14 years old when I got it. it still fits me today. I wear it every fall hunting. Um, I don't know what weight it is. I suspect it's 24 ounce. The tag is completely worn off. So I don't even know the size of it. Zipper's good, slanted pockets in the front, chest pockets, double cape, unlined, but nothing has ever failed on this jacket. Why Buffalo plaid? First and foremost, it's a tradition. You know, this is kind of the classic Northeast deer hunting garment. When I think of deer hunting, I think of red and black checkered wool jackets. Probably because I grew up doing that and that's what I grew up seeing at deer camp. That's what all the guys wore. And then you kind of carry that on through life and I'm not one to kind of change things up unless I find something that's better. But Buffalo plaid is old school camo. It breaks up your outline so you don't stick out like a sore thumb. Number two is deer don't see red very well. They don't see red or orange very well. They see it as kind of a grayish drab yellow. So deer do see, uh, blue in particular, really stands out to a deer. So I guess the moral of the story is don't wear anything blue. So that's why I stick with buffalo plaid. It's tradition. That's what I think of when I think of Northeast deer hunting. And it's kind of an old school camo. So over the years, I've gotten some questions about all the patches on my jacket. You know, I was a kid when I got this jacket, and as I started shooting deer as a kid, I started putting patches on the jacket. For those that aren't familiar with main deer hunting, we kind of grade a trophy a little differently than a lot of other places in the country. We consider a trophy in Maine a deer that dresses over 200 pounds. And so in the state of Maine, if you shoot a deer that dresses over 200 pounds, and you have a weight on a certified scale, you make what's called the Biggest Bucks in Maine Club and you get one of these red patches. The first few that I shot, I put the patches on my jacket. It was kind of a novelty. But as you get older, you stop really caring about that stuff. In fact, the deer that I shot last year, I didn't even submit for a Biggest Bucks and Main patch. I guess I just don't care that much anymore. But this jacket has become such a part of me that I just don't envision myself out hunting without it. It's almost like a, say a two-year-old with a stuffed animal or a blanket that's special. They won't leave the house without it. It's kind of their, you know, their little piece of comfort. And that's kind of what this jacket is for me. I don't say, I wouldn't say that I'm superstitious. I almost feel naked if I'm out deer hunting without this jacket. I guess until it wears out or becomes non-functional, then I'll figure out what to do then. But I, I don't plan on trading this jacket in anytime soon for anything though. But let's get to where the rubber meets the road. And I'm not joking when I say this. Why do I think like this is the best jacket that a deer tracker could have in the Northeast? Who the frig makes a jacket that lasts 28 plus years being used as hard as I use it? I mean, that's insane. 28 consecutive seasons that I've used this jacket. This jacket has been soaked repeatedly. It's raining pretty hard. You'd think I'd be soaked. Not bad at all. I can't tell you how many raspberry patches and fur thickets that I've pushed myself through. And this jacket has no thin spots 
There's not a hole in it. It's not all pilled. The jacket has become such an afterthought for me. I don't even think about it. I put it on, I do my thing, and I hang it up to dry by the fire. And I have never washed this jacket. I have never cleaned it. It still smells like a wool garment. Oh, the smell. This jacket's deer hunting. It's been incredible. And as I sat down and was thinking about this the other day, I'm like, I can't believe I haven't discussed this jacket more um, because I don't know many products you can buy that you can get basically 30 plus years use out of and not have an issue, not lose a button, not have a zipper break, not have a hole. I mean, that's just freaking insane. So yeah, I, I gotta give credit where credit's due. If you're looking for a wool jacket to track deer in the woods, I think they're sub 300 bucks or right around 300 bucks. I don't know where you could go wrong getting a Johnson wool jacket. This jacket's been unbelievable. And uh, I wanna share that. I have no stake in Johnson. I don't know anyone at Johnson and I'm just going by what I've experienced with this jacket for the past 30 years. And I've got zero complaints. Hands down, the best deer trackers jacket out there, bar none. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps someone maybe find a new piece of gear that they could have for a lifetime, maybe pass down to a young one when they're done with it and uh, give you years of enjoyment. So until next time, get outside. It's good for the soul. See ya. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing better than that right there. That's about as good as they come. Any piece of equipment. I mean, how do you get 30 years out of anything? And it's still functioning like new. Man. Won't be long. We'll be in the deer woods. But let's not rush summer. Winter's long too. Because that's a wrap.